y'all happy saturday i hope you're all doing well i'm in the process of getting ready to head into manhattan i'm taking myself on a solo day today i've been dying to go to little island for so long literally ever since it opened so i'm gonna go today like around sunset time it's still really early it's only 3 13. they required you to get like a ticket and it was a timed entrance type of thing but i was on their website last night and it said that that's no longer a requirement so i'm just gonna show up and see what it's about and then i'm gonna go take myself out to eat somewhere i'm having a great hair day by the way i clarified my hair so the curls are really popping we love that I usually use the Paul Mitchell clarifying shampoo like once a month at the beginning of every month just to get rid of product buildup that gets in your hair and stays in your hair. If your hair is not doing what it's supposed to do, that might mean you need a clarifying shampoo. Sometimes that means you need a protein treatment. I actually haven't done a protein treatment in months i don't think i've done one all 2022 actually and it's april already so this is the shampoo that i use the paul mitchell shampoo 2. yeah i've been using this for a while now and i really like it it's really strong though so i only do one wash with that and then i do a wash with my regular shampoo because that really strips your hair of all of the oils all of the buildup but i've noticed that when i do two shampoos with it it's too much for my hair and it just leaves it like completely stripped so one wash with that and you're good i picked that particular one up at ulta i've even seen it at local drugstores like cvs so i'm pretty sure you can find it anywhere anyways i went to trader joe's yesterday so i'm gonna insert a clip here of the things that i got because i just love showing you all my grocery hauls and i think some of you enjoy it so roll in the grocery haul <laughs> i got some granola some white truffle potato chips but only because they didn't have my new favorites which is the five cheese chips got a pineapple tomatoes some mangoes i'm so excited that it's officially mango season i love me some mangoes pears, avocado, garbanzo beans, tomato paste, some kombucha, asparagus, peppermint tea, butternut squash, spinach, kale, cauliflower, and nutritional yeast, coconut flakes, and sweet plantain chips, some eggs, brussels sprouts, some shrimp, vegetable gyoza, shrimp gyoza, I got another hand sanitizer. I love these little sanitizers from Trader Joe's. So I got another one. This is the lavender scent. Some garlic powder. Got this vegan yogurt. This is the mango flavor. I've tried the other flavors, but I don't really like any of them. Trail mix, dried mango, salmon, some mochi ice cream. And I got these macaroons because my mom has never tried these and I want her to try it and see if she likes these. Some Gouda cheese. And lastly, I got these custards. These are imported from Portugal and I am so excited to try these out. If you watched my Portugal vlog, please watch it if you haven't. It's like the greatest vlog ever. <laughs> um, you will see that I had so many of these during my trip. And for my flowers of the week, I got these hydrangeas. So I just had lunch and now I'm craving something sweet as usual. I'm gonna have a pastel de nata. Picked it up yesterday, basically a Portuguese custard. And if you watched my Portugal vlog, you know this is what they're known for. It's like their national dessert. So we're gonna try this and do a little taste test, see what it tastes like. I'm so excited for this, y'all. You have no idea. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna put these in the air fryer at 350 for 12 minutes. By the way, y'all, it is so nice. It's officially feeling like spring. I just went outside earlier and did a workout. I jumped rope for like 20 minutes. It just felt so good to have the sun shining on my face and on my body. <laughs> I'm getting so excited for the springtime. So I'm really happy that the temperatures are finally rising. This side of my hair like needs to be very fluffed out because it's not giving what it's supposed to give. All right, y'all, let's see what this is talking about. This is delicious. It does taste just like the ones I had in Portugal, which makes sense because according to the packaging, these are imported. Definitely recommend if you're at Trader Joe's and you want to get yourself a little dessert, 
treat yourself to one of these. I think you'll enjoy it. If you like egg-based desserts. <laughs> I had to fluff out my hair because this side was just not cooperating and this side is like a lot bigger since I have a side part but now I think it looks pretty good so yeah anyways today's fragrance is C by Giorgio Armani I'm wearing this long sleeve white top from Zara and I paired it with this top that I got from ASOS it's actually supposed to be a bikini cover up but I do what I want <laughs> Honestly, you do what you want with your clothes, so I'm gonna wear it out. I feel like this color just looks so good on melanin. And I'm wearing my favorite jeans from H&M. These are a mom fit, but this is the slim fit. They also have the regular fit, which is just a little bit more baggy at the knees and at the legs, but I actually think this is more flattering on my body. And I'm wearing my Gucci leather espadrilles. Also wearing my rings as usual and some small hoops. Noon. I want to make a reservation for 8 o'clock today for just one person. Um, okay, what name? Jasmil, J-A-Z-M-I-L. Jasmil, and for one person at 8 o'clock? Yes. Let me see if that's doable. I would just come on by. I don't think I can run to the reservation, but I think we can accommodate you at the bar. Okay, thank you. Let's go to Little Island. I've been trying to watch the sunset for such a long time now, so I'm excited to see it today. It's on the west side of the island of Manhattan, so you know, the sun sets in the west. I feel like it's gonna be beautiful, so let's go check it out. Let's go outside. I'm so excited for today. Let's go on our solo date. I did it, but... Lo quiero ver los dos aquí. Pero yo quiero saber que lo que usted bebe para quedarse así de joven.
It is 12.45. I ended up meeting the coolest people at, I think the name of the restaurant was Catch, if I'm not mistaken. And we ended up going to Brooklyn. It was just such a perfect day, such a perfect night. <laughs> hey y'all happy saturday i'm just here to close out the vlog because i didn't want to just have it end abruptly basically i have been sick literally since monday this week i went to the gym on monday like feeling great had a workout and then that same night i started like getting chills my throat hurt a little bit something's off with my nasal airways though because i hear myself muffled 
even though I don't feel stuffy or anything, like I'm not sneezing or coughing, any of that. I don't know what's going on. But I've been drinking a lot of tea, drinking a lot of water. Yesterday I was feeling a lot better, so I went and got my nails done, watered my plants, did a little bit of skincare and body care. And I went for a walk. Oh my gosh, I went for the best walk, y'all, because I had not left my house in like five days. I've just been working from home and resting as much as I could. But yesterday, that walk, it was nice. It was so nice and sunny. I walked like five miles, literally just like walking around the park. It was the greatest. Today, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm actually going out, so stay tuned for my next vlog. Also, recap from my solo date. Little Island was so much fun. It's like a cute little park, you know, on the water. It was so touristy though, like just full of tourists, which is expected. It was a pretty chill park. I really liked the architecture and the different viewpoints of the city. The sunset was nice. After that, I went to catch. I was actually going to go to this other restaurant, but I was walking from Little Island towards 8th Ave. And then I saw catch and I saw some people coming out of there. I was like, hmm, I want to go here. I had the seared salmon. Was it seared salmon? I always take like little menu videos so that y'all can get an idea of what they have at places if you're from New York. Can y'all comment down below if you're from New York? I'm very curious to know. Yes, seared Scottish salmon. I had the seared Scottish salmon. It came on a bed of sauteed spinach. Um, it was really good. The fries were okay. And then I got a meal on the house because I guess the food was taking too long. I didn't even notice because I was like eating my fries and just minding my business. <laughs> drinking my wine and then my waitress came and gave me a dish that had artichokes with like a tomato sauce that thing was so good i would have never thought to order artichokes off a menu so that was a pleasant surprise it was delicious if i ever go back there i would definitely get that again i'm gonna close out this vlog because i'm chatting right now thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more videos y'all i was actually supposed to film more videos this week but since i got sick i didn't get to stay on the lookout watch my other videos if you haven't and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video